A stone is thrown vertically downward with a speed of 4 metres per second from the top of a cliff of height 110 metres. Calculate the speed of the stone when it hits the sea at the bottom of the cliff and find the time taken for the stone to hit the sea. So we've got that u is minus 4 metres per second. Uh, I'm going to take downwards as uh, negative and upwards as positive. S is therefore minus, because S is displacement in the distance, minus 110 metres. A is minus 9.8 metres per second. If you do it the other way around, these will all have to be positive, which is which is OK to do it as well. And then V should come out to be negative if I keep that negative, that negative, that negative. So there's my cliff, my C, there's my stone going downwards. Downwards is negative, therefore minus 110 metres. Acceleration, minus 9.8 metres per second. And the initial velocity is minus 4 metres per second. Now you could take downwards as positive, that means that, that and that would have to be positive and V would come out to be positive. So V, we want to find the final velocity at which this stone actually hits the C. So using v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, we can have that v squared is minus 4 squared. And again, put this into brackets and then square it. Don't make this come out to be minus 16. Plus 2 times minus 9.8 times minus 110. So it's going to give me 16 plus 200. 2154.56, which gives me 2172, but that's v squared, so taking the square root, but taking the negative square root, that's going to give me minus 46.60, which gives me minus 46.6 meters per second, but we want speed, so we don't need to worry about the minus sign, so speed will be 46.6 meters per second. Now we need to find the time taken for that journey. So using now v is equal to u plus a t, where v will be minus uh, two square root of 2172 is equal to u, which is minus 4 plus minus 9.8 times t. So we're going to get minus uh, square root of 2172 plus 4, taking that over there is equal to minus 9.8t. Then the next step is we need to divide this by minus 9.8 and that will give that t is equal to 4.347. This has come out to be positive which is okay which is what we expected to do. That gives me 4.35 seconds. Okay, you just need to be careful of the signs of this question. I've taken downwards as negative and upwards as positive. You can do the other way around if you wish. Okay, so there's been a video about frying a stone off a cliff. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.